Rumors call a possible Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus with an S Pen. Early 2017 iPads might not happen given some processor delays, and TCL vows that the legacy of the BlackBerry will continue. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, from all of us in Pocket Now to all of you, Merry Christmas. Thank you for keeping us company and watching our videos. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with deals. If you had not picked up the memo that Verizon and Motorola want to get rid of those Moto Z droids, uh, think again. Best Buy is currently offering the phone for $5 a month in installment plans. Obviously, you have to get the phone with the whole contract thing and everything, but $5 on installment plans pretty much makes this phone cost, what, 120 bucks? That's insane. That's crazy. I do recommend it. Even though it's not our favorite phone, that price is just insane. Other official news have to do with TCL and BlackBerry. Some people are skeptical over the fact that TCL is going to be doing the hardware. I am not. I am a big fan of the Idol 4S. I love that design. The fact that it was brought to the DTEC lineup is great. And TCL has just vowed publicly that the company will continue the BlackBerry legacy going forward. I was a big fan of BlackBerry design. And according to TCL, there will be smartphones, plural. We will keep you posted. Now let's move the spotlight over to some very interesting and kind of hilarious news from Uber. Uh, many consumers have been complaining about the fact that after they finish their ride, the application is still tracking them for hours and sometimes even days. According to an Uber spokesperson, well, apparently that will continue because it's not Uber's fault. It's Apple's fault for the way it tracks you. And it's just hilarious, mainly because you don't have that problem with other applications. I just highly suggest you close down the Uber application once you're done. And speaking of Apple, we've got some very interesting reports coming from TSMC. Uh, this company has disrupted with its 10 nanometer chip, and apparently Apple's next iPads will be powered by this chip. But according to some trusted sources, the company is having yield issues, up to the point where it can't mass produce these 10 nanometer chips in time to be able to make Make the next generation of iPads that we heard would happen somewhere around March. Uh, so uh, yeah, for those of you that are in the market for an iPad, it seems you'll have to wait. And given the whole Pro moniker, it could be the case anyways. Apple takes a long time with its pros. And finally, the very hot news today have to do with the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. But yes, apparently there are rumors that Samsung wants to give a hit to the Plus, and this phone is going to have a couple of characteristics. Number one, apparently it brings the stylus, it brings an S Pen, so it revives whatever didn't happen with the Note 7, that's great. Number two, apparently the display is going to grow into a six inch display. And think about it, it makes a lot of sense. What did Samsung do years ago in order to be able to build a beefier battery into the Galaxy Note? It brought in a humongous display back in the day. So it makes a lot of sense in the world for us to get an edge display that makes the phone feel smaller, then grow it a little in order to be able to add a larger battery and fix the whole issues that it had with the Note 7. But it leads me to the question of the day. Would you trust Samsung with the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus? In my case, I definitely would. I miss my Note 7. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, you know the way it goes. If you want to get the news earlier before the video is filmed, follow us on pocketnow.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. Merry Christmas. See you next week.